Welcome to Sports Knots Weekly MLB Digest. Touch them all. I'm Scott Branson. And if you love baseball and you want to stay up to date on the latest news, do us a favor. Make sure you subscribe to the Sports Knot YouTube channel. Now, let's dive into this week's action from around the diamond. Story number one, Shohei Otani's historic start. Otani is off to an incredible start in 2024, possibly the best of his career. Freed from pitching duties and supported by a stronger team, Otani is dominating at the plate. In his first 45 games with the Dodgers, he's slashing 358 batting average, 426 on base, and 676 slugging with 13 homers, 16 doubles, 11 steals, and 32 RBIs. This puts him as the major league leader in several categories, including batting average and OPS. Otani's success comes from a career-best contact quality, dominating non-fastballs and owning the edges of the plate. His expected stats show massive improvements, leading the league in expecting batting average and weighted on base average. Stay tuned to see if Otani can maintain this historic pace and achieve milestones like batting title, 40-40 campaign, or even a triple crown. Woo, he is hot, ladies and gentlemen. All right, on to story number two. Speaking of hot, Aaron Judge's resurgence in the Bronx. After a slow start, Aaron Judge has exploded out of his slump, propelling the Yankees forward. Judge struggled in his first 23 games, but in his last 22 games, he's hitting 359 with eight homers and 18 RBIs. Judge's resurgence has been crucial for the Yankees, who rely heavily on the dynamic duo of Judge and Juan Soto. The Yankees look poised for a strong season with both players performing well. This turnaround is thrilling for Yankees fans and a promising sign for their championship aspirations. There you go, Yankee fans. All right, story number three. Oh, boy. Tyler Alexander, almost perfect. Tyler Alexander of the Rays nearly made history with a perfect game bid against the Blue Jays. He retired the first 22 batters before Danny Jansen's single in the eighth inning ended his bid for perfection. Alexander finished the game pitching 7.1 innings with three hits, three runs, and four strikeouts. Despite falling short of perfection, his performance was a highlight in the Rays' 4-3 victory. This near miss adds to the excitement and unpredictability of baseball, right? Reminding us how rare and difficult a perfect game is to achieve. No kidding. All right, story number four is a one of trouble. Edwin Diaz struggles with the Mets as they're closer. He's facing challenges after challenges, blowing his third consecutive save, blowing his third consecutive save against the Marlins. Diaz's issues began with a leadoff double and culminated in a game-tying home run by Josh Bell. Mets shortstop Francisco Lindor suggests Diaz's struggles may be linked to adjusting the pitch clock. Uh-oh, another pitch clock. Regardless, the Mets need Diaz to regain his form to stay competitive in the NL East. Can Diaz overcome these hurdles and return to being the dominant closer the Mets need? Only time will tell, folks. All right, on to story number five. Unfortunately, Jung Hu Lee's out for the season in San Francisco. Giants outfielder Jung Hu Lee is out for that season because of shoulder surgery after collision in the center field wall in San Francisco. Lee had been batting 262 in 37 games before the injury. This is a significant blow to the Giants, who are already struggling with multiple injuries. Lee's absence leaves a gap in their lineup as they try to improve their standing in the NL West. The Giants will need to rally and find strength in their remaining players to navigate through this challenging period. Man, tough season up there for the Giants. All right, folks, thanks for tuning in to Touch Em All, your go-to source for everything around Major League Baseball. And don't forget, subscribe to the Sports Not YouTube channel so you can keep up with all that's happening around Major League Baseball. Until then, make sure you keep aiming for the skies. We'll see you next time.